Daudi ni mmoja nitakuonyesha. Wa pili ni Yusuf. Yusuf baba yake aliitwa Yakobo. Mungu akuteua wote kulikuwa mara ya Adam, wengine walitunana, kulikuwa na Adam, Asher, uh, Isaka, Ruben. Wengi walikuwa pale. Lakini Mungu alipoangalia God does not deal with everybody at the same time. Alichukua kaweka staff endorsement kwa mtu anaitwa Joseph at his own wisdom akaweka mtu anaitwa Joseph endorsement kasema ni wewe beba hiyo japo alicheseka lakini baadaye alikuwa wa baraka mpaka kwa mzee Yakobo wenyewe mzee Yakobo wakati jana ilikuwa imeuma mzee alienda Misri wakasaidiwe mzee alituma vijana wake wote wakabebana na punga na mizigo na pesa wakaenda kule kumbe ni Yusufu mbarikiwa mwenye alikuwa na endorsement ya baraka sio tu kwa jamii yake bali kwa misri mzima na mataifa jirani yote yalitegemea baraka ilikuwa imewekwa ndani ya Yusufu one man akawekwa endorsement na Mungu awe baraka kwa watu sema amen amen kuna mwingine watatu mifano ni nne tu mtapata mifano mfano watatu ni mshana anaitwa Esa kuna mshana anaitwa Esa kulikuwa na mzee alikuwa mzee kuliko na yeye alikuwa mjomba wake yeye alikuwa niche kwa Esa walikuwa wametoka kule wakapelekwa utumwani Esa hapo na wazazi kwa hivyo alikuwa analelewa na na mjomba wake aliitwa Mordeka lakini Mungu huyu Mordeka alikuwa anakaa kwa geti ya mfano na kuna vile alikuwa anajua vile kunaendelea kule na vile kunaendelea alikaribwa tu kasichana in his own wisdom kwa kwa you may not be the first one you may not be the most one wapendo nimekuja kujua ya kwamba sio lazima uwe ni yule unasoma sana na masomo ni nzuri na kwa kibali chake Mungu nimesoma soma kidogo. Sema amen. Haleluya. Lakini hiyo sio ile Mungu huangalia. Mungu anaweza tu akaangalia akipita awe amepita kwa Kolasbo aseme ni hapa wewe stamp. Ni huyo sasa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Anaweza akapita na pita na pita akina Manase, Ruben, Isaac, anatembea tu anakuta Joseph anaweka stamp sasa ni hivyo amemwekea yeye ndiye atakuwa the pointman kwa hiyo jamii. Esa akawekewa hadi Mordeka alimwambia wewe Esa umeona uko ikulu Bwana tuokoe kwa wakati huu. Sababu Bwana ukikataa kutuokoa wakati huu Mungu atatafuta na una wengine atatuokoa. Lakini wewe utawekwa pembeni. Nikumaanisha kwamba Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Esa mwenyewe akawa ame, amewekewa uh, uh, ile endorsement na Mungu alimudi ili akawe ndiye pointman wa kisazi uh, hicho. She was the pointman. She was a woman lakini akawa yeye ndiye the pointman kwa wakati huo. Niliwambia uh, kuhusu uh, Daudi. Nikawambia kuhusu Yusufu na tena Uh, nitawambia pia hata uh, jeko jeko wakati huu ijapo na na, na ma weaknesses naambia kwamba Mungu in his own wisdom wakati mwingine he doesn't look for the justified wakati mwingine Mungu angalii the most qualified Mungu mwenyewe akifanya mambo zake angalii the most qualified when he look at you when he call you he qualifies you Bwana asifiwe. Amen. He doesn't look at the most qualified. Angalia hawa wote. Esa hakuwa yule qualified zaidi. Daudi hakuwa qualified zaidi. Angalia hawa wote they were not qualified. Lakini akishakuita, akimweka endorsement imetosha. Hiyo ndiye that is the justification that is required. To say amen. Amen. Hawa ni wanne. Jacob, Joseph, nimekupatia Esa na kuna mmoja uh, huyu Joseph ni Jacob kuta ongea sana na Daudi hawa wanne Upendo niwaambie nimekupatia hawa sababu hawa walibeba walibeba hiyo endorsement hadi mwisho Sasa kile tunataka kuongea leo ni kwamba kuna kitu inaitwa transfer transfer of wealth transfer of grace transfer of will transfer of riches transfer of gifting transfer
transfer of anointing kuna vile Mungu ana anafanya transfer ya upako kutoka kwa mtu mmoja hadi mwingine Mungu ana ujue at any one time kama Mungu amekuta amekuita na ninaongea najua kwamba Mungu amenipatia uzito ili nikaongee kuhusu hili jambo sababu kati ya wale wako hapa Mungu amewateua kama appointment wa jamii zao haleluya ninajua kwamba hapa kuna watu ndio appointment wa jamii zao it may not be so right now lakini itakuwa hivyo sababu najua ndio maana Mungu amenituma nikawaambie hivi because you are going to become the appointment or you are already the appointment mwenye Mungu ameweka katika jamii yenu ni vyema uelewe ya kwamba Mungu akishakuweka sio kwa sababu ati ujifurahie hii si si ati ili uinuliwe sio ati ili uwe maarufu hapana Mungu at any one time akijakuwekea endorsement anafanya hivyo ili uwe msaada kwa wengine haleluya that reason only ndio maana usi usiwai kama uki 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 mbona akikubariki akupatie mali you know like transfer of wealth na nikasema wacha ni, ni, ni wakumbushe ya kwamba ushawaiona transfer hata kwa jamii kwa jamii yenu kwa mfano Mungu alitaka kubariki jamii ya mtoto ama kwa jamii ya mwangi ama ya wajambo ama ya wafura ama jamii ya katana kwa mfano alitaka kukubariki kubariki ile jamii anaangalia tu mmoja anachukua mtu mmoja na anambariki anamuinua nyote yake anainua anampeleka juu mtu mmoja peke yake ili awe awe ndiye atabariki jamii anaweza kawa ni kichinda mimba anaweza kawa mbele ama katikati mahali popote anaweza pia kawa ni mtu wa nje na aleke pale kama hautaelewa zile mbinu zile mikakati ama namna ile Mungu anafanya unaweza ukaona mmekaa pale wewe ndiye ulikuwa kusema katika hiyo jamii na Mungu hakimbii haleluya amen baraka za Bwana wapendwa wazikimbii Mungu anaweza akafanya within a period of 10 years na ndio niliwaambia kama wewe ni mshana usiwai right off kijana kwa sababu hana mali Mungu akipiani ile utajiri ya leo niko hivi na kesho mimi ni milionea utajiri wa aina hiyo sio ile utajiri ya kisawasawa sababu baadhi ya wale watu nimewaambia mmoja anaitwa Jacob tutasoma hapo maandiko pale nitawapatia ile mchana ukimwangalia Jacob usiku mmoja those verses ziko pale usiku mmoja amelala nje kama gari amelala nje kule jikani giza baridi kwa kulala hana analalia mawe kama piro sababu hana chochote ametoka kwa sababu brother yake anamtimiza ako kule nje amelala nje hana mahali popote hapo tu hivyo in a period of 20 years hiyo tajiri ya kukimbia haraka haraka hiyo sio utajiri mzuri haleluya amen sema amen amen niliwaambia kwamba usifikirie tia kwamba sasa sababu Mungu anabariki hadi ni saa hizi na kesho tutakuwa na gari na nyumba na mambo kama zile niliwaambia hakuna magadi imewekwa mahali Mungu apeane haleluya hakuna manyumba zimewekwa mahali za kupeanwa na Mungu hakuna hiyo ni process lazima ufanye kazi na mikono yako upatiwe ununue gari ununue nyumba upate vitu haleluya na hakitateleka next year there is a process wanashifiwe kanisa sema amen hakuna hiyo ya hata nikikuwekelea mkono hata nikuombe the process ni lazima haleluya Bwana akikwambia utapata mtoto sio ni kwa sababu sasa Mungu amekwambia utapata mtoto basi sasa uanze kesho uende kwanza kununua nafki na vitu zingine ah process ni lazima ifuatiliwe sema amen hiyo ni process na ni lazima kila kitu ikundi uchungu zote ziko it comes as a package haleluya haleluya ni lazima ni lazima hizo vitu zote ufuatilie ni process naye mtu huyu miaka ili ya kopo awe barikiwa kutoka mwaka wa kwanza etetuki 20 years 
Miaka 20 ndiye alisema sasa ametosha boka. Haleluya. Pale ndipo ilifika kwamba ametosha boka. Kuna kitu kinaitwa accelerated studies. Yes. Kuna studies zinaitwa accelerated. Hizo zina hata accelerated. You cannot accelerate in one day. Lazima uende zote sita. Haleluya. Lazima uende miezi sita. Hii studies yenye inaenda miezi miezi 36 ama 48 ama ama real time upunguziwe. Lazima uende sisma. So hakuna wakati wa Yesu alifanya accelerated. Kanisa sema amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ukiwa na Yesu, mwenye alikuwa amejaa nguvu na upako na ametoka mbinguni, lazima iliwachukua 3 years with Jesus accelerated. 3 years ili akue wamekoma kubeba upako. Hallelujah. Lazima ufuate through the process. So, chochote kama Yakobo ilichukua 3 years. 20 years ili on the 25 sababu miaka saba kwa fanyia msana wa kwanza mko wa kwanza aliitwa leo akafanya ingine saba akaa akapewa lecho akafanya ingine saba kutafuta mali 20 years pale kutoka wakati analalia mawe kama watu wengine hapa walipokuja tulilala kwa kwa, kwa viti vya watu kwa ila ni makazi ama ni ni, ni, ni brother in law ukalala pale kwa kiti sababu Nairobi hii haikuwa na mahali pa kulala sema amen hivyo wapendwa na usijiangalie na macho kama uelewi vile kuko hivyo ndivyo mambo huanza haleluya kanisa sema amen it is a process ni lazima ufuate haya mambo lazima ulale chini na kulala chini sio makosa is part of the process it will take you 5 years it will take you 10 years it can even take you 20 years ili utoshe boga haleluya ili utoshe boga sio tu kwa jamii sio tu kwa mali ya dunia hii hata kwa jamii haleluya hata kwa upako usifikirie kisasa ukija hapo ukianza ukianza kufanya 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 mambo hapa kati kesho utakuwa mtumishi wa kimataifa na hata ujamaliza miaka 2 ama miaka tatu lazima kuwe na what we call the process ya kukomaa bwana asifiwe ili uwe mkomavu usiende ukaanza kupatia watu ugali nijaiba umesaa unapatia watu wanaanza kumwa na tumbo na na, na mambo inaanza kuwa mbaya sababu ujaiba ukatosha boga haleluya there is what we call the transfer katika kila jamii niwaambia ya huyu anaitwa uh, uh, Jeko alianza akiwa hivyo na finally finally ama wakati finals zilikuwa zinafanywa Mungu akasema uh, akasema hivyo tusome maandiko maandiko ni amani twende katika sababu cha Genesis 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 ni mwanzo Genesis 31 mstari wa kwanza pale ndio tutasikia vile maneno itakuwa Genesis msara uh, mlango wa 31 na mstari wa kwanza pale tusikie vile maneno inakuwa huyu Yakobo tuanze na Yakobo Yakobo ndio wa kwanza tunaanza naye na pale nasema hivi and he had the words of Laban's son say Jacob has taken away all that was our father's and of that which was our fathers has he gotten all this glory sisi tunasema nini kwa Kiswahili lakini nasema hivi huyu yakobo akasikia vijana wana wa laban wakisema hivi ya kwamba yakobo amechukua mali yote ya baba yetu na utukufu wote amechukua sema hivi ni vijana pale 31 mstari wa kwanza unasema vijana wa Raba huyu Raba alikuwa mjo wake Wajua mama yake Jacob aliitwa nani aliitwa Rebecca Rebecca alikuwa
aliitwa na brother aliitwa aliitwa nani aliitwa Rabani Rabani na na Rebeka baba yao aliitwa Bethuel bwana asifiwe amen baba yao aliitwa Bethuel yule Bethuel ndiye alipatia Isaac ama Isaac ndiye alipatia mke aliitwa Rebeka akapelekwa kule akaolewa na Isaac Isaac ndiye akamzaa Yakobo bwana asifiwe amen sasa hawa ndio tunasema tunasema kwamba kule kwenye Rebeka alitoka alikuwa na brada kama ndugu yake huyo ndugu yake ndiye aliitwa Raba huyo Raba naye akawa na wasichana wawili alikuwa na mke wake lakini akawa na wasichana wawili mmoja aliitwa Lea na mwingine aliitwa Lecho sasa hawa wote wawili ndio waliolewa na nani na Jacob haleluya Jacob huyu ndiye alikuwa na brada yake aliitwa Esau na baba yao aliitwa Isaka sema hivyo hapo pako sawa kama tuko sawa tuseme amen amen kama pako sawa tuseme amen amen sasa baada ya kukaa maisha ni process kuzidani sasa nimeoleka kama vile nimeoleka hadi sasa unaanza kutoa fujo kwa boma unaanza kutoa fujo usikuwa mzee hadi bona hajatajirika uliniambia utaninunulia ni kweli zitanunuliwa lakini sio kesho nikutafutwa zitatafutwa sema amen amen pana subua mzee na kwamba hajanunua hana shamba hana ploti Nairobi ati mzee ni ploti atijui ni mzee ni, ni kweli lakini sio leo ni process itachukua muda sema amen mali ni kutafutwa kutafutwa hata huyu anaitwa uh, Jacob alitafuta mali sema amen but in 20 years in 20 years kukawa na transfer jamaa ameingia kwa boma anaambiwa Jacob anaambiwa atakiwe kajumba kakona na kule ile ufanye kazi akapewa kajumba alikuwa huko alikuwa anapelekewa chakula kidogo kidogo but in a span of 20 years vijana wa huyu mzee hapa walizema mali yote ya mzee ishakuwa transfer kutoka kwa raba sasa ishaenda kwa Jiko sema hivi amen si usome hapo usaidi wa kwa mimi ni vile maandiko yanasema vijana wenyewe walisema angalia mali yote ya mzee ishaenda kwa huyu aliyekuwa mfanyikazi and he had the word of Rabban son say Jacob has taken away all that was our fathers and all that which was our fathers has he gotten all this room in 20 years transfer wapendwa haya maneno ndio yalivyo ukiangalia kweli angalia hata kweli kuna yule mjomba ulipokuwa mdogo kuna mjomba aliyekuwa ndiye kusema hata ukienda shule baba yako alikuwa anaenda kwa huyo mjomba anakuitisha fish anakupeleka shule in a span of 10 15 or even 20 years unaweza ukaona kwamba aliyekuwa kusema wakati ule wakati huu there is a transfer ya kwamba wewe ishatoka kwa yule imeenda kwa mwingine inaitangwa wewe transfer sema amen amen hata ndugu zako unaweza kuangalia kwamba kuna yeye alikuwa nazo mali na sasa isha kwa transfer imeenda kwa kwa mwingine nitawaambia ni kwa nini haya mambo utendeka sababu kwako haleluya kama haujafunzwa ni kwa nini Mungu hufanya transfer yeye kutoka kama ni wewe na sio wewe peke yake hata anointi hata anointi mapendwa hii transfer hata kwa anointi unaweza kwa ulikuwa picture ulikuwa unasikia sauti ya Mungu Mungu anakuongelesha kwa sauti unasikia Mungu akikwambia vile itakuwa kwa ndoto ama kwa sauti anakwambia ujumbe sababu God has said this is my appointment kama Musa alikuwa the appointment of Israel alimwambia Miriam na Aaron akamwambia kwamba nyinyi mimi watokezea kwa ndoto mzee Mose mimi huongea na yeye moja kwa moja sema amen amen haleluya amen Mose alikuwa na ngai. Mungu anaenda akakufanya uwe 
kwetu ya kwamba kama Mungu anataka kufanya kitu anakuelezea kabisa ile haina to haina haina tashwishi and there is no doubt there is no dispute anakuelezea lakini anaweza ipavika mahali aondoe ile status ile endorsement asiyo siku moja aipepe aipeleke kwa mtu mwingine wewe mwenyewe ukijaribu kutafuta una, una, unapata tu ndoto kwamba na tuko accurate sana hatuko sio accurate hatuko precise haieleweki unaona una, unapata tu ndoto kwamba hata lazima ipelekewe aso kufanya kutafsiri haieleweki ni kwa mbali sema amen amen kanisa sema amen amen ni vyema wapendwa ni vyema ujue upako inawezekana ikakuwa transfer kuna mtu labda alikuwa na na, na even politically kuna mtu alikuwa na political power na anaanzi wakati yule huyu angesema inaanasema lakini unaona it has been shifted it has come to the ni kwa nini haya mambo kutendeka wale nimewafuatia kama Esther alibeba ile ile mato hadi mwisho kama ni Yusufu aliibeba hadi wakati ule ali 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 ali, 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 ali alikufa kwake hata mifupa yake ali, alienda akiwa wa baraka kwa jamii mzima amen sasa tushaona kwamba about the transfer let me show you the difference between when he was there and when he started uh, and at genesis 28 verse 11 Genesis 28 verse 11 Hallelujah Amen. Ela Genesis 28 mali tulifaa kutoa hapo lakini tuta ni sawa we we'll make a reference Genesis 28 verse 11 Apa ndio alianza 11 itasema hivi And he arrived upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set and he took all the stones of that place and put them for his people and lay down in that place to sleep that is Jacob mahali alian hakuwa na chochote hakuwa na kikoi ajifunike alikuwa tu hivyo baada ya miaka 20 na moja akawa utajiri wote wa mzeraba huo za nilo ishatoka kumaanisha utajiri naweza kawa ilikuwa na nilo wende uwe mahali kwa tajiri kwa mzee tajiri Mungu angalie yale mambo nitakwambia uone Mungu ashaibadilisha kwa kwa yule nilo alikuwa tajiri mali petition ikuje kwako kama mali zote zitoka kwa hiyo ilo ikaje kwa kijana sema amen Mungu anaweza akafanya hivyo Mungu anaweza akatoa mali kwa ilo ailete kwa kijana huyo Mungu anaweza akatoa mali kwa kuku aipeleke kwa mtu mwingine Mungu anaweza akatoa mali kwa boma hii in the same village atoe mali kwa boma hii aipeleke kwa boma nyingine na haya mambo ukiangalia hata kule mashabani kwenye mwito mm. tunasema kwamba 20 years back hii boma ndio ilikuwa kusema hawa ndio walikuwa kila kitu lakini ukiangalia the one ile jamii ni inasaidia watu kwa hiyo kwa, kwa hiyo village yote ilitoka kwa wale hata hawa sasa washaanza kuja hapa wanasaidiwa na na hiyo mwingine. Sema amen. Transfer those things up. Haya mambo utendeka. Mwenye alikuwa akiandika watu hata sasa ana, anakuja anaandika hawa wengine sababu uh, inshaatendeka inaitwa transfer. Na ina, inaweza ikawa uh, ni kwa mambo ya utajiri, inaweza ikawa ni upako. Inaweza ikawa ni upako a uh, katika huduma Mungu aangalie mtu aone ya kwamba ya mambo ya mambo nitaambia ni kwa nini Mungu fanya hiyo transfer uone mtu mwenye alikuwa amepakwa mtu mwenye alikuwa amepakwa alikuwa baraka kwa watu wengi na ikafika mahali within a period of 10 years 
ile upako yote ishakuwa ishakuwa transmitted imeenda kwa mtu mwingine sasa yeye ndiye Mungu anatumia ana portman haleluya amen Mungu ashamtumia kama portman mtu mwingine nitaambia kuhusu ili mpate hii uh, uh, this concept vizuri kuna mtu anaitwa Daudi wa Yesu Daudi wa Yesu uh, ilikuwa kwamba at some points David was not more hata mzee Jesse aliulizwa na nabii kwamba watoto wote wako nasema wote wako that means David was not even considered among like sons yeye alikuwa akuwa na nauko sababu aliulizwa leta watoto wako akaleta wengi kwenye alisai alidhani hao ndio watatoa msaada kwake huyu Daudi hakutaka ni baadaye after much you know questioning ndio alisema kwamba uh, wameisha wote no, kuna kuna mwingine lakini huyo uh, i doubt if anything can come out of you bwana asifiwe ya kaitwa david what happened when he came na mungu akamwekea edus uh, he was nothing he was a hard boy alikuja tu na kinyasa na, na ile string na, na ni hivyo hakuna kitu kingine alikuja nayo but within a period of not more than 30 years because by that time he was a boy and and, and, and by the time he was coming to around the 30 year david was ready kumuka kwa pendo i said everything is a process sema amen amen hallelujah amen you must be ready to go through the process david from the side when alimwagiwa mafuta nini alimwagiwa mafuta akiwa bado na kinyasa sema amen alimwagiwa akiwa na kinyasa kaptura na akara na ile ile kitu ya afya ya kurusha mawe ndio alimwagiwa mafuta nayo alipomaliza mzee kumwaga mafuta na upembe yule nabii ashamwaga mafuta kijana akakaa pale alijua kwamba mahali uh, wazee wako kama wazee washamaliza mambo yao kijana akatoka na akarudi kule na wakati huo amemwagiwa mafuta sema amen amen amemwagiwa mafuta na kabiwa yeye ndiye atakuwa uh, mfalme wa taifa hakukaa pale ati sasa mimi ndiye nitakuwa mfalme sasa mimi nitakaanga tu hapa nyumbani hapana kumaliziwa kazi alienda moja na mofu moja kwa moja hadi kichakani sababu process lazima ipitiwe sema amen amen lazima process ipitwe hata ukapakwa leo upakwe hadi hata upakwe na na Bwana akupake na hata utoe unabii leo there is a process of maturity yet inahitajika ukae chini ya mtumishi sema amen kanisa sema amen sababu kama Daudi angemik mistake Ah ah aseme sasa nishapakwa wacha nianze kwenda nika 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 kuwe mfalme angemalizwa he had to go apitie aende ikuru uh, Sauli by that time the big man alikuwa so sema amen haleluya it was so lakini sasa transfer ikaanza transfer of power transfer of political power transfer of grace transfer of anointing ikaanza kutoka kwa a uh, 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 soul ikaanza kuingia kwa daudi ikaanza kuingia kwa daudi kanisa sema amen amen ikaanza kuingia kwa daudi at some point soul aliwashwa akiwa shell he was left being a shell this transfer is real haya mambo yapo wapendwa haleluya amen huyu so aliwacho akiwa shell siku moja all the transfer has been done ukisikia vijana wa wa jeko wa huyu raba wakilia timu yamebaki hivyo waliangalia wakasema zamani watu ukisikia wakisema zamani jua kumearibika wanasema zamani hii shamba ya ya, ya mzee ya tadi uh, mbuzi zikijaga hapa kote nasema zamani wanasema unasema unasema zamani nguvuzi za tadi zilijaga hapa tulikujaga tunasimama hapa tunakuja hizo zote zilikuwa nguvuzi huko kwingine kulikuwa na ngombe lakini nakuta sasa zishakuwa 
Nika zemu kadogo Urusha watu Ati wakati huwa tukisoma Hii ilia yote nikuwa nipuzi Za baba yangu zilikuwa hapa Ukiona hivyo Jua transfer Isha teteka Hallelujah Amen Vijano niwa waliangalia Wakaona ya kwamba Zaza wakuzi za baba yao Ziko tu hapa Iki wanya yote zaza Nikichaka Wanasema Hii yote nikuwa venzi ya mbuzi Hapa kulikuwa ni mahali kwa Kwa mdamia Na vitu zingine Zaza hakuna Na ukiangalia Kwanda ule mingine Ile The fence The The What do you call it The The Cowshed Ya 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 Jeko Inandelea kuwa kubwa Sema Amen Amen Bwana pewe sifu Amen Kuna video unaweza ukangalia Wani wana meanda kukubaliki Ujue ya kwamba Wakati utangalia Wani shamba yako Imeanda kupanuka Wangalia umeanda Umeanda, umeanda mungu wa mekutua Wani ulianda hapa Ukalala chii Ukanunua kamatis Ukanunua kitanda Ukanunua stools Ukanunua kiti Ukanunua kitanda Sasa hii kanyumba kamekua kakubwa zaidi Umenunua kengine sasa zingine umetoka hapa umepeleka pali Tena sasa umetoka hapa sasa inaandrea na kupanuka Na kupanuka ujue ya kwamba is the sign That God has started transferring some passion to you Sema Amen Kanisa si useme Amen Amen Siku hile utangalia uone Ya kwamba ulikuwa kwa benches Ulikuwa kwa benches Na umevurutu wa kidogo Umepelekwa kakakwa ka office Ulikuwa kwa general hall Sasa umepelekwa kaka office mahali Sasa kuna some authority umepatiwa Ujue ya kwamba There is some transfer Imianda kutendeka kwako Anda kutembea Na zile minu nitakwenyesha Sema amen Ukiona ulikuwa unasimama peke yako Umepewa watu watano Watu sita ama watu kumi Unasimamia Anza kujua kwamba There is some transfer Imeanda kutendeka Hallelujah Kuna transfer Imeanda kutendeka Na ukiona ikikuja kwako Ujue kuna mahali inatoka Hallelujah Ujue kuna mahali imeanda kutoka Kuna mtu moja nitakuwa mbiye Kuna mama moja alikuwa Ame alikuwa She was the queen of Babylon Sema ime Alitua Vashti Alitua Vashti In the book of Esther Utaenda kusoka ukifika nyumbani Hii maneno ni mzitu Alitua Vashti In the book of Esther chapter 1 verse 4 Utaikuta pati Atuna mda mungi lakini utaenda kusoma Kuna mama moja alitu wa vashti Alikuwa ye diye kusema katika uo ufame Because he was the first lady Angalia Na kulikuwa na msichana Mwenye hapu wa metulikana Alitu wa esta Lakini transfer Ikanda kutendeka Mamlaka Ikanda kutoka kwa vashti Ikanda kuingia kwa esta Badae Esta alitoka kama amekalia kiti akawa yeye kusema katika ile ikulu naye naye huyu anaitwa Vashti akatolewa akaenda kama ana kitu ameenda kama sio this is transfer na ni Mungu mwenyewe utoka anaitoa kwa mtu mmoja anaipatia mtu mwingine sema amen amen Vashti in the book of uh, Esther chapter number 1 and verse 4 Vashti ya nitolewa, mamlaka yote ya katolewa, ikapatiwa Esther, Esther mwenye alikuwa na simama mbele ya mfalme, and God qualified her. God say my man. Amen. Mungu waka, waka, that transfer, ikateleka. Wapendua ukiona haya mambo imeteleka. Ukiona mungu wa meanda kukubaliki. Amen. Kiona mungu wa meanda kukupatia kaupao Kanea maflani Kanea maflani Ujue tukuna transfer mungu wa meinstitute mahali Hakimbi yangi Hakimbi yangi mungu Iti kante kania Even two years, even three years Don't be in a hurry Kuna transfer Ukiona kuna kanema Mungu wa meanda kukupatia Ujue kuna transfer Kuna mahali Hallelujah Amen 
kuna mahali inatolewa kuna mahali inatolewa na imeanza kuingia kwako ukiona ni hivyo ukiona zizi lako limeanza kupanuka mzizi zako zinapaa kaduka kamoja sasa zimekuwa mbili umeona haya maneno maneno imeanza kupanuka ujue kuna neema imeanza kuja kwangu start now behave let me use that word start behave hallelujah amen ukiona Mungu ameanza kukubariki ndugu ya kwamba ukisimama mbeleni au kuwa chochote lakini sasa ukiongea watu wanakusikiza kuna kaupako ukisema kitu watu wanabarikiwa haleluya amen ujue kwamba kuna neema imeanza kuingia upande wako you need to look at things things uh, are inafaa kuwa and because of time let me tell you that these things happens politically like the case of Esther and Vashti it can happen in families it can happen anywhere now let us look at factors that causes the transfer what are the factors ni mambo gani haya yenye utaka kufanya Mungu aangalie watu na anasema fine let the transfer start from b to a even if B was unknown, was not qualified, and I qualified. Amina. Say my name. Amen. Even if you are not qualified, even if you are wherever, God can take you from the height. I could let you have a belly, a quick endorsement. He has started the process. Hallelujah. Amina. Mungu anaenda akakutoa kule, akulete mbele na transfer yeye anaondoka. Transfer inaanza pole pole. Inaanza tu ni kama tap, tap dogo tu isha kwa connected toka pale ikiingia hapo inaendelea tu hapa inaendelea kwenda chini pale inaendelea kwenda juu kwako bwana asifiwe amen it is this is not instant it's not microwave but you keep pinga tu ime, imechukua hapana ni process inaanza hadi wakati chakua imejaa kumoni ni kitu gani hufanya uh, Mungu afike angalie mtu ati huyu ndiye nilikuwa nimeeleka kama mtu ajabu wapendo ni wapie kwamba katika kanisa hili watu wengi wale bwana ameleta hapa ni watu ya kwamba watakuwa ndiye watakuwa tegemeo ya jamii zao haleluya ya jamii zao na no tonde where you come from but even the extended the extended you may not be the first one you may not be the first one you may not be the order lakini utasikianga ukianza kusikia ukiambiwa na ndugu zako wakubwa wewe wewe ongea kwa niaba yetu wewe tukifika kule wewe wewe ongea kwa niaba yetu chenye utasema itakuwa sawa jua ya kwamba kuna mahali neema imeanza kuingia kwako start to behave sema amen hallelujah you may be young you may not be educated you may not be much lakini ukisikia wakisema wewe wewe ndio utaongea kwa niaba yetu start behaving hallelujah ni neema imeanza kuingia ni neema imeanza kuingia hallelujah amen katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen when you see the, the, the thing that, that makes This is to start. Yaani Mungu aanze e process. Yaanze saa kutoka kwa huyu na qualify mtu mwingine. Ile kitu inafanyaga Mungu aseme ninaanza process. I'm fed up with this. Lazima in a period of 10 years the power, the anointing, the will itakuwa imetoka kwa hii boma imeenda pale. Anointi tanoi kutoka kwa somebody A to somebody B. One of the things that mix go aanze hiyo na disqualify huyu kama candidate moja kiburi right anitakuonyesha ukishikwa na kiburi ushikwe na kiburi kuingie uwe kwamba wewe uguziki eh uguziki upako vile iko nyingi pesa zishaingia joto ya pesa ishaingia sasa uwabiliki chochote sababu pesa zishaingia umeshikwa na kiburi you may go for two years you may go for five years you may go for ten years or even fifteen years kama nitaonyesha kiburi ya rafa ndio ilifanya maji kutoka kwake ikaenda kwa kijana mwenye alikuwa mtu 
mkwe. Haleluya. In 20 years, mali imekuwa ishaondoka imeenda. Kiburi ni baadhi ya zile vitu zinafanya Mungu aseme toa hii mali, hii anointing, hii favor, hii grace, hii neema itoke hapa iende pale. Esther chapter number 1 and verse number 4. Kuna mama moja aliitwa Vashti. Vashti yeye alikuwa kusema kule ikulu yeye alikuwa everything yeye alikuwa na mamlaka yeye alikuwa na jina she was only number two in the entire territory lakini mzee akamwambia uh, amama leo uh, hawa wageni wote washakuja wewe twende kule uh, wakati wageni mashuhuri wako acha twende pale we dance a little bit we dance a little bit this way we dance this way we dance that way and then we entertain hawa uh, wageni kidogo tutamlikia alafu tukae chini mama akasema mimi hizo dance hata sikuji uko sikuji sasa kamwambia mama nakwambia wale watu wa hapa sio loko ni watu kutoka mataifa ni watu wanao heshima hapo mahali wewe tutokezee ili tuonekane jina langu bwana tisije nikaribika kasema mimi mzee nikisema nimesema Kumbia, mama tafadhali masai shafika tunakwambia tafadhali mama na kusini tu wacha twende kwa hall kila mtu amekaa pale tunagojewa watu ndio hao wamesimama kwa mlango wanasema sisi ndio tunagojewa twende tafadhali ah kia hakusema lolote akaendelea na shughuli zake za za kuosha za za kuosha vitu zake za mzee akamwambia mimi nimeenda kama wewe ni sawa mimi nimeenda mzee akaondoka alipoondoka pale alienda akadance peke yake akadance peke yake akadance peke yake akadance peke yake akauliza watu wa mzee ananga ananga mama ananga mke alipoona vile watu wamechangamka na maswali iko akasema kutoka leo vasti hata wai kanyanga hapa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kiburi amekatalia kwa nyumba. Mzee akasema naye hapa hatawai ondoka na process ya kuangalia the next person mwenye ataingia hapa ndio ataletwa asema amen. Amen. Kati ya Kenya hakakuwa na hakakuwa na chochote roho yake kati ya biwa kadanza na unai katika kadanza na unai kabiwa twende kanauliza unataka twende wapi? Haleluya. Esther mwenye alikuwa flexible mwenye akiambiwa angalia upande huu angalia upande huu weka mkono kule endo anasema akisema akisema twende it is not an issue of whether we are going or not is a question of ni wapi unataka twende haleluya amen flexible people pride ilifanya vasti akatolewa the process started within a year or so the power ilikuwa ishaondoka kwa vasti akabaki akiwa share alitolewa na mamlaka na manguo na heshima na hali zote zikatolewa zikaingia kwa Esther sema amen right open right it can cost you anointing unaweza kawa appointment wa jamii Mungu alikuinua akakufanya wewe ni appointment wa jamii wewe ni wa familia you are not even from the first family Baba kwa ni bora wake watatu au wanne. Sasa nyinyi ndio mlikuwa wa mwisho. Hata mama yako hapo ametambuliwa. Hapo ametambuliwa vizuri. Lakini sasa ifike wakati Mungu aseme kwamba wewe ndiye nitakufanya uwe the spokesperson. Wewe ndiye utakuwa the coachman kwa hii familia. Wote umeanza kuinuka. Uwanze uwanze kuinuka. Na wewe ni kijana tu. Wewe ni kijana wa 27 years. Usikia wazee wa nyumba kubwa kwa wafuata hii ya Spotify waanze kukuita mzee. Mzee, wewe ndiye utasema. Mzee unasema shamba tutagawa nini? Mzee unasema uh, tukutane tuje kwako lini? Wanaanza kukuita mzee. Na hii ni kijana tu ya 27 years wazee wenye devu nyeupe wanaanza kukuita mzee unasema hii shamba tuigawe namna gani sema amen amen kanisa si useme amen amen that is what happened hivyo ndivyo inakuwa ya kwamba you may not be the most qualified lakini uki ukiendelea hivyo waanze kusema squeeze mimi ndiye kusema uh, kwa hivyo wacha uone wacha uone vile nita wakija mbele zako na mwambia sasa washa anza so bwana amekupatia kumbuka go he takes you as the appointment of your 
family ili uwe msaada kwao haleluya sema amen amen kama yusufu kama yusufu alipoona ndugu zake amekalia kiti akaangalia akaona ndugu zake mandivu watawajanyoa sababu ya shida mandivu ime imekadi za nyingine akama akamwona Isaka ni huyo akaona Ruben kibere bere ni huyu anatokezea akaangalia akaona haleluya ndio watu wenye bwana haja kwa sababu kuna vile design wanakaa ukiwaangalia unaona hawa kajua kama wapiga vizuri sababu ni say man haya ni waangalia akasema wapewe chakula na watu na wapewe chakula na wapelekwe kwa guest rooms na kila mtu apewe bathroom yake kila mtu apewe bathroom yao kwanza wa wa alikuwa ni fresh haleluya he never punished them hakuuliza bwana mnakumbuka siku ile vile kwanza wewe ulikuwa unasema unirushe kwa shimo umeona 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 hakuakumbusha hizo vitu alijua ya kwamba aliwambia niliwekwa kwa sababu ya wakati kama huu Mungu alinituma ili niwe msaada kwao lakini wapendwa ukisahau uanze kuzungua ndugu zako wakisema nataka kuja Nairobi nataka wanapita hata mzee dia 40 years wako mbele yako na kwanza wanapita hata mzee na sio mzee unamwambia mzee ni wewe no? unakuja mzee ningetaka kuja ili tuongee jambo fulani au wewe ni mzee mimi sio wewe ni wewe ni mzee unaanza kuambia maana kiburi ishaanza kukuingia it's a matter of time Mungu ataanza transfer hata wewe ujue ya kwamba kiburi haisaidii haleluya unapaa kunyenyekea wakikuita mzee una, una, una maneno unajua ni heshima unamuuliza unataka nini tusaidiane na namna gani anakuambia ni school fees msichana wangu anaenda form 1 nataka unisaidie namwambia ni pesa ngapi unamwambia basi vile nitafanya uh, wakati ule ukifika we kujia che ujue kwamba you are only a custodian haleluya custodian wewe ni custodian peke yake mali ni ya mwenyewe we ni kiburi umepewa ukue custodian sema amen amen ukiishi kwa na kiburi kwambia ndugu zako ati wewe ni mzee na wamekuheshimu wanakuita bwana mkubwa Una, unaanza kushikwa na kiburi ni kumaanisha kwamba god will instruct you to say in another ten years in another ten years mademu zako zitakuwa nyeupe utaanza kuangalia wenyewe na watu niliwafanyia vibaya it will be too late kuna mtu mwingine Mungu atakuwa ameinua na utasalia utembele zake na itakuwa haipo kwako haipo itakuwa kwako ni kwambia kwamba kiburi is one of the things yenye ufanya Mungu and the process of transfer hallelujah amen sema amen amen Sema amen. Amen. Umetolewa pale. Umetolewa pale. Umepewa ka ofisi mahali ili watu wakiingia wanakupigia, wanapiga, wanakuita yesa. Na wewe wakija pale hata huitiki, wengine ni wazee kuliko wanabisha ni kama usikii. Unakona kupishia mlango, wanakuita yesa na hata uongei umeshikwa na kiburi. Baada ya uwasaidio ni kwamba God has get Mungu Esther. Yule Esther niliwaambia, aliambiwa na Mordecai mzee, walienda mbele zake kumwambia, "Madam Esther, nakumbuka Esther alikuwa mdogo sana wa Mordecai, lakini Mordecai alimwambia, "Madam Esther, nakuomba, enda kwa mfalme utuombe na usinyamaze wakati huu tunakuhitaji." Lakini ujue Esther, ukinyamaza, Mungu atatupatia msaada mwingine wewe the process we have started to kick you out of this position of grace sema amen amen hallelujah amen kiburi wapendwa ukipakwa kidogo ukipakwa kaupako kidogo ya pesa sio nyingi sana hata hata speakers wewe ukabeba tukienda kwa kusaidi sasa bwana wewe ukabeba speaker ukapeleka pale Watu wa Kiosha, wewe ukaosha wao unasimama tu, unataka kuona ukona ni ni watu wa Kiosha. Na ni upako tu Mungu amekupatia, ni upako peke yake. Kubeba meza, upeleke mahali kusedi na endelea. Haiwezi ikatoa upako. Beba meza, beba kusedi, weka pale na utabarikiwa zaidi. 
that can make God say sawa na Mungu akisema sawa amefilia battle process has started process has started sema hivi amen process has started is a matter of time utakipata wewe ni share hakuna kitu mali shae na kuingia sasa wewe ndio unasema tuweza tukakuja na mali mambo isha 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 badilika somebody say amen amen wapigo mahali uko sahi mahali uko sahi kuna mtu alitolewa ili uwekwe hapo haleluya amen pendo usicheze mahali uko sahi kuna mtu alitolewa ili uwekwe hapo behave haleluya amen hiyo kaupaka uko nayo kuna mtu alitolewa akawekwa hapo nikwambia kwamba ukiingia eh hey, haleluya amen lazima tumalize ukiona umewekwa position kwa kwa kiwanja umeona ukiona umewekwa position kwa kiwanja umeambiwa wewe kazi yako unaona pale kuna hiyo crossbar na kuna hiyo miti mbili na crossbar and behind is the net ukipata hii ngozi hakikisha umeiweka pale everybody anajaribu kukupatia kuhakisha hii ngozi imepita upande ule mwingine that is the only way tumekupatia kwa hii kiwanja sema amen amen usipeleke mazihara usipeleke pwepwe usipeleke mambo zingine kuonyesha mimi unaweza ukapeleka upira upande huu urudisha upande huu ngoma upande hii at the expense of putting the ball on this side it's a matter of time utaona kibao ime imeinuliwa juu na namba yako iko pale kukuambia enter bench kuna mtu mwingine atakuja pale na utaona wapi kiti jeti ikitetemeka sema amen kanisa sema amen ukileta maziara at the expense of doing the work ndio ulipewa hapa kibao itainuliwa na jina lako lishatoka enda kwa bed utaona wengine na wapendwa niwaambie the reserve reserve ni watu wenye wamewekwa kwa bed akiitwa anaitwa kiti kwa kiwanja sana sana the dupeta kuliko mwenye alikuwa anacheza pale sema amen daudi alikuwa kwa bed daudi alikuwa amekalishwa kwa bed he was in the bed lakini sasa wakati jamaa alianza anaambiwa kuona Samuel amechelewa sababu programs za mtumishi ni nyingi Samuel akachelewa Samuel akachelewa naye huyu alikuwa shashikwa na kiburi Samuel alikuwa shaikiwa na kiburi Samuel amechelewa akasema leteni hizo vitu leteni akawaambia walete kisu leteni hiyo mbuzi wekelea hapa kwani ni kazi kubwa na una gani akachukua manyu the manual of doing the sacrifice kasema number one, kandana na na he was not qualified for that when when someone came and kaona kazi shati na kaulita ni kuhani gani amefanya ni mfano amefanya akasema hiyo imefanya ni mbaya sana na kaenda sasa yake the process started immediately of choosing the next key mm. say my amen amen Hallelujah. Amen. The second one, kiburi ni mbaya wapendwa. Kiburi ni mbaya. The second one, a seed. Zambi. Zambi ni mbaya. Zambi. Hapo Kenya tunaita zambi. Kwingine tunaitaga zambi. Kama umetenda zambi wapendwa ni mbaya. Inafanya inafanya ina hiyo zambi ufanya transfer ianze inaanza Unaweza ukainuliwa. Bwana anaweza akakuinua, akupeleke juu na usahau ya kwamba haleluya. Uinuliwe na Bwana. Nikwambie neema. Neema ya Bwana akishapoweka endorsement. Hata wale watu wao walikuwa wamekuhit, wataanza kukupenda. Mungu akipwekea tu endorsement na mungu wake even the people who hated you wataanza kukupenda wataanza kukupenda they, they want to do favor to give you favor hapo ndio sasa nilikwambia kwamba ukiona mungu kanema kameanza kuingia start behave hallelujah ukipata neema 
kama ulikuwa kuna watu wa tumbo tunaka nusu nusu anza kuvaa vizuri sema amen amen tuseme amen amen kama ulikuwa unavaa nusu nusu ndoki baba karibu inateremka nusu nusu anza kubihevi anza kuvaa vizuri ukiona kama Mungu ameanza kuleta neema you start behave haleluya sababu maneno itaharibika hautatosha boga hautafikisha utafisababu wakati huo when you are elevated ukiinuliwa when you are taken to new position ni mambo gani utendeka even new devils mapepo mpya zile ngome ume, umepatana nazo pale mbele ni utapatana nazo zingine uvato kwa pia haleluya sisebe amen zingine haleluya kukubia somebody say amen kuna mapepo nyingi utazipata katika anga ile upya when god take you to a new position you must behave because they are new devil zenye zitakuwa pale so zambi ni kitu ni mbaya hasa sexual si kuna kuna dhambi inaitwa mimi sina muda wa kuongea kuhusu dhambi ya usherati lakini niambia kwamba unaweza ukawa juu hasa ukiinuliwa sema amen hebu muangalie jirani yako haleluya muangalie right now he doesn't look like an officer haleluya ni kama ana ofisi huyo mtu atainuliwa akikosa kupewa ofisi ajitengee ofisi yake haleluya haleluya si useme amen wapenda ukikosa ukikuwa unafanya kazi kwa kampuni na uangalie useme mimi vina na jisikia kulingana na ile kazi nafanya hapa hao watu wanafaa kunipatia gari niwe nikienesha wakikataa kukupatia jinunulie gari yako sema amen haleluya wakikataa kukununulia gari yako na wewe mwenyewe ukisikia yenyewe ile kazi ninafanya mahali hapa. Ile kazi ninafanya ninafaa kupewa. Unaona watu wengine ni junior kukuliko wanapewa magari na pembeke zingine. Wewe usijali, wewe jipange na Mungu wa mbinguni ujinunulie gari yako. Haleluya. Wangalie uone mimi na sahi kwa na ofisi. Ile kazi nafanya nahitaji kuwa na ofisi. Wakikosa kupatia, wewe jipange na Mungu wako. Na sio kesho, it's a process. Utakuwa na ofisi yako wewe mwenyewe. Watu watakuwa wakiibisha, wakiingia. Sema amen. Na ikiwa yako, unaweza kusema ongeza au kingine. Amen. Ndio kidogo baada ya lunch, kanisa sema amen. Hii ni ofisi yangu sio yenu. Haleluya. Kwa ofisi yao wewe ukalala, utavutwa lakini yako mwenyewe unaleta extension. Haleluya. Amen. Sio ile yao lazima uamke uende ukakunywe chai mahali wamesema kakunywe lakini yako utasema uletee wakati wewe unataka ndio utasema amen amen sema amen si sema amen mara tatu haleluya sema amen amen wakati utakuwa na ofisi haleluya amen kuna mapepo mpya zitakuja ala sema amen eh wakati tu utakuwa na ofisi yako ala mapepo mpya zitaingia haleluya eh tayari hapo kita hiyo sana hapo mambo ya anasa eh na sexual sin na vitu zingine zitafuta sema ni mchita sura ya tano ya nazareti ujue ya kwamba wakati tayikisho office ukue officer mm. one of the things that happen when sin comes and also like sexual sin what happens when you it we call it it is exchange there is a next change that happens kama wewe ulikuwa mkubwa na umetebea na bure bure na na haleluya sisi kusema bure bure kama ni mtu mtu lakini yasema mtu mwenye hana namna zake ziko chini sana you are exchanging kanisa sema amen there is an exchange that happens maana zile zinakuwa na huyu mtu zitaingia kwako nazo pana zile zinakuwa kwako zitaenda kwake utajikuta sema amen 
kabisa tuseme amen. Amen. Hizi vitu wapendwa ninawaambia ni zamana ndizo zitafanya mkae tu. Haleluya. Amen. Wakati utaingia juu. Wakati utaingia juu kuna mapepo mengine inakaa kule haikujali hapa mahali wengine wako ziko kule juu. Haleluya. Kule juu ndio ziko. Lazima wapendwa kuji sababu ukiwa juu ukimake mistake na wande 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 kuangalia tuna tusiana tuna tunaosha ile nyumba ile ile ofisi yako sababu lazima inane unaanza kutuangalia unaanza kutuangalia unaanza kutuangalia na kutuambia sasa kweli ni wapi sasa wewe ndio umemhandika ni nini unaanza kuuliza yake you are not in charge of that you are in charge of the area you are given huyu anafanya kazi yake wachana naye sema amen kanisa sema amen wachana na hao wafanye kazi yao because the day you start to enter you go down to that level hallelujah utaenda chini chini zaidi na ukiona maofisa wametoka juu wamepelekwa chini sana sana dhambi can contribute hiyo ni kitu ya haraka Mungu kwanza akiona hivyo ananda sore mingi nipata tu anapinda kwanza accelerated downfall you fall like a rock hallelujah kanisa semeni amen hii mambo nawaambia itawasaidia hallelujah kuna uliza samson Tumulize Samson wakati alianza hiyo maneno bato ilifinywa accelerated downfall you go down like a rock and he hit down akajipata sasa yule mtu mwenye alikuwa na, na uwezo alikuwa na nguvu nyingi akishika jopo anavunja watu kuvunja lakini wakati mmoja alijipata amefungiliwa kwa kikingi macho haiko a comedian a bright comedian anafungwa kwa masaa anatolewa kwa masaa dhambi inaweza ikakupeleka chini ukose kuamini bwana tusaidie amen roho tusaidie amen jehova tusaidie haleluya pigieni bwana yesu makovi wapendwa dhambi ni mbaya simamia haki simamia utakatifu usikubali kiburi ikupate na ya mwisho sababu lazima nimalize ya, ya ile kitu kingine inaweza ikafanya ikafanya ah ya yeah, we talk about pride we talk about see there is disobedience 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 ujue kazi yako ilikuwa nini ile kazi ulipatiwa na Mungu ujue ile kazi ulipatiwa na Mungu ile kazi hiyo Mungu alikupatia Samueli aliuliza Samueli aliuliza aliuliza huyu So akamuuliza bwana wakati ulikuwa mdogo unakimbiza punda because he was a donkey chief ilikuwa kazi yake kufuatana na punda Mungu akamtoa kwa kusukumana na punda akamleta hadi kwa kamwambia wakati ulikuwa na nafi hata wewe Daudi I lifted you and I kept you to the position of the king when you did have a name I lifted you up the reason why I lifted you is that you may become of use and a blessing to me and other people what does it feel said and he said I have never been disobedient to the heavenly call or to the heavenly vision sijawahi kataa kufanya ile kazi niliitiwa wapendwa ile kazi uliitiwa kufanya wewe ifanye kwa mchana au usiku kunyeshe kusinyeshe I have never been disobedient to the heavenly call that is what Paul said do not be disobedient usiingiwe na roho ya disobedient wanze kufanya mambo kivya kwa so disobedient he was thrown out and last one because of time is that you must acknowledge god you must acknowledge god never never allow people even to when people want to praise you quickly 
Take the glory to God. Amina. Take the glory to God. Immediately. When they tell you, oh, great. Glory to God. Amen. When I saw you few. Amen. When they want to say, hey, what are you achieved in a short time? Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not about me. Boss. You've really achieved this position at this age. When you want to work in this position, they are all looking at the bottom. You don't know all the people you are with. The the oldies, they are they are the other generation, all white hair, uh, white hair beard, uh, all white beard and white hair. Now you took your company, you are going to get it, you are going to get it. Oh, you are the only one. Glory to God. It's not about me. Don't tell them. That. Even my father, when you start now telling about your father, even my father actually he has taken the same. You've taken the glory. It's hard work. It's not about when you start sharing the glory of God, and you're saying that even even my my other brother also attained almost. Now God will replace the battle. God will replace the battle, and the exchange will we we start moving. Acknowledge God that man in Lipo, you're the one who said, "Ma, ah, to this one, hey boss, how comes you became the CEO?" In this foreign land, then there are so many Egyptians here. Mm. He said, hey, "Man, if I don't need you, Yona, if I don't need you, Yona, I can't wait four years. If I don't tell you, God shall be a Buddha. You want me a Baba? I can be a brother. I can't wait to grow. I need you. 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 Accelerated exit of the stage, and somebody else better will come on stage. Ute angalo tsema ili ofisi ni likuaga, ni likuaga pale. Somebody say amen. Amen. Can you say my amen? Amen. When God has lifted you, and people want to lift you, could you come back? It is not about you. It's about God. Hallelujah. If it's not even there, we should be not even there. Don't say, oh no. Don't you guys know? I have a PhD in business management. Oh no! It's not about PhD in business management. It is God. Hallelujah! Amen. Somebody say Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. It's not about hard work. But let me tell you, I'm a early riser. I sleep for maximum three three hours. It's not about three hours. There are people who trans night. There are people who don't even sleep. Yet they don't get anything. So yes. it's not about hard work yes. because the race is not for the swift. Yes. The battle is not for the strong. Yes. But time and chance. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is an anointing for elevation. Hallelujah. There is an anointing for elevation. In the name of Jesus. Lakini bwana ameputa adhalisha kwamba utakapo inoroniwa usijuje kwamba sio sio wewe sio kwa sababu yako katika jina la Yesu sio kwa sababu yako ni ili uwe msaada kwa watu wenu kwa jamii yenu kwa kizazi chako katika jina la Yesu Kristo hallelujah utakapo inuliwa bwana utakapo ninua jambo utakapo ninua najua inaweza kawa sio kesho lakini bwana utakapo ninua hallelujah nisaidie utisaidie ewe bwana nataka tembea na najua mfalme utaninua katika jamii yetu utaninua katika kizazi chetu bwana najua utaninua katika huduma najua utaninua katika jina la Yesu somebody pray in the name of Jesus hallelujah dada utainuliwa ndugu utainuliwa in the name of Jesus utainuliwa katika huduma utaenda juu sababu baraka za bwana zitajirisha na ziongeze uzuri in the mighty name of Jesus you are going up Hallelujah! You are in the upward trajectory. In the name of Jesus, O man of God, in the name of Jesus, at the highest level, it is a process. We are not going to go back. We are going to go back. We are going to go back. You, in the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah! You need to not be proud. Hallelujah! Avoid sin. Because sin is an abomination. Hallelujah. Sin demons. Sin demons. Sin demons. Don't be who let the chili. Don't be who shoots her. Hallelujah. We remain humble. But our God is a power in the world. Remain humble.
hapo bibini hapo like joseph katika jina la yesu bibini hapo like david acknowledge you are not everything it's not about you it's about god in the name of jesus and we see our talk you over in the name of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus the position you are in right now hallelujah the position you are in right now the position you are in right now hapo sio mwisho unaenda juu unapandishwa juu divine ni process ni lazima upitishwe hatua zote hivi usiende ukakosa moja uanguke hallelujah god anakupitishia kwa hayo mapito sababu ni process